Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing off the 3D renderer in SkyCiv Beam. However, I also want to show you some of the results you might not receive if you forget to add a section. So I've created a model here, but I didn't add a section. I hit the solve button, and just waiting for it to solve. So you'll notice I have the free body diagram, I have the shear force diagram, the bending moment diagram, but you'll notice that there's no 3D contour um, and there's no 3D representation of the beam because if you didn't assign a section there is nothing for you to see. Similarly you can't get any deflection results if you didn't specify a section and a material and you can't get stress results either. So going back into beam setup let's fix this by doing two different options. So because we let you add a section by using the section builder but adding the values. So I'm just going to be adding some values here and I'll just be adding an ambiguous value there. So I'll submit this and then I'll solve once more. Now you'll notice that you have your typical results from before but you'll now also get your deflection and elastic curve results here because you provided a Young's modulus and moment of inertia. You also get the rotation displacement, but you won't get any of the stress or the 3D rendered representation here because you didn't provide an actual geometry for your cross section. So going back, let's again add a section, but let's use the section builder. So just like before, let's add an I beam. I'm happy with the dimensions, I'm happy with the material. Let's just hit submit for this example and it's been submitted as you can see let's solve once more now if you scroll down once this finishes loading just give it a few more seconds you'll notice that you'll also have a summary of the beam section here you'll have the 3D renderer so if you hit show tips you'll notice that you can rotate with the left click, you can pan with the right click, and you can toggle between orthogonal and perspective camera views. And similarly, you can also get stress results for the overall beam or at a specific location here. So thanks for watching guys, I hope to catch you in the next video.